hate my finances. I hate my husband. I hate my family. I hate my friends. I hate my work. I hate this country. Now, Mr. Avocado is no stranger to the internet. He's been known for a very long time. He's the guy who was vegan before you meet. No. I ate five avocados for dinner tonight. The vitamins and minerals will feed my hair, my skin, my brain, and my blood. You are what you eat. And eight years ago on his channel, he posted that he is no longer a vegan YouTuber and he is going full meat mode. I just want to be myself and um, I don't want to keep going. I don't want to be involved in the vegan stuff anymore. So. And just like the 13 year old you who just hit puberty and discovered that your pee can turn sticky, he tasted meat and felt the meat in his mouth and the chicken and he went full at it. <laughs> I don't know how long his vegan process was or did he ever tasted meat or chicken in his life but bro lost control his content started going viral for all the wrong reasons kids were coming and trolling him and adults were just there they're like oh that's sad people just loved seeing him destroying himself in his video with all the fried food heart attack chicken br tender tenders he was eating and people were enjoying it and he was bringing views and he felt entitled to continue doing this and just four months ago, he made this video titled, Bye. I am just gonna tell you right off the bat, I'm on the edge of a breakdown. Like, most likely by the end of this video, or halfway through, I'm gonna be flipping out. It's one of those moments in life where you know that you're on the edge. You know that you really wanna and you know you shouldn't. And I'm like, well, half the film, it's, it's honestly a lot to do with you. My life was going great. Now, I'm a little bit late to this because this was posted four months ago with a lot of like a 41 minute video, just a lot of sad things, him going through how his path was before how he was going in the right path of becoming a violinist and he's actually really good at it by the way but now he got stuck into this bubble where he felt entitled to keep eating in front of people even though people just are there to see his downfall which is pretty sad he's taking a one straight highway to heart attack and he's too afraid to make a u-turn and change his career because he's afraid that he's not gonna have any income my life was going great So I decided to do this YouTube life where I thought it'd be fun to reach people, share community, make videos. I thought that would be fun. I thought that would be a fun way to make money, a fun way to get myself out there, a fun way to live my life. And I'm sitting here thinking, I have thrown away the best years of my life. Now, YouTube is a very fun way to make a living, to make money. If you enjoy making videos, if you're just in it for the money, I'm sure most of you heard this many times, but you are going to burn out and eventually you are going to slow down on making videos and maybe even quit in the future. But it is also very important to take breaks, just like a normal nine to five on weekends, you're off a day or two a week. You're off so your brain can rest. Your body can rest. YouTube is the same thing. You need a day or two a week at least to take a break to take a rest or else you're gonna burn out and you're going to go basically if you don't give your brain some time to rest it is going to fart i wish i would never have done youtube i wish i would have never decided that this would be a fun way to make a living that this would be a fun way to have a life this would be a fun way to provide for my family that's what it was all really about he also goes on and says the most obvious thing where you know he seems so happy in front of the camera but when its cameras go off he's actually miserable hates himself hates his body hates everything about his whole life because of this niche that he chose on youtube it's great for me to be funny it's a great a great way for, for me to put myself out there you know but at the end of the day i turn off the camera and i am miserable I am not happy. And this is one of the sad parts in this video where midway while he's speaking, his pizza comes through and he just takes the first bite and he just starts breaking down. I don't like this. I don't 
like this. I don't like this. I don't like this channel. I don't like what I'm doing with my life. I had goals, I had dreams, and I threw it all away to eat food. And the irony is I've barely made any money for the past two, three years. And the stupid, stupid, stupid stubbornness of me. Oh, it's because I'm a Taurus. Oh, it's because I'm competitive. Oh, it's because I don't like change. Oh, it's because I'm stubborn. Well, are you surprised? Look at my content. And according to Sonny V2, most of his channels, he has like three to five channels. Most of them are not even monetized. They have the yellow icon and he's not making any money from it. Nick seemed to imply his videos were rarely monetized, which has been happening for over three years. We tested this by watching his content on a fresh new account and found that most videos on more Nick Accardo don't even play one single ad. On the contrary, most of his third channel videos have ads, but his earnings didn't matter anyway because any money he did make has now been fully wasted. It wasn't even worth it. I barely made any money. And the money I did make, I lost. To the extent that Nick Accardo is now struggling to survive. I hate my finances. I hate my husband. I hate my family. I hate my friends. I hate my work. I hate this country. Now, we're not going to go through the whole video. It's like a 42 minute video long. If you want to watch it, feel free to go. But I do want to talk about him not changing his whole niche because he feels stuck and he doesn't have the courage to make a U-turn. So he's just going in a straight highway, heart attack street. And I still don't understand how people enjoy SMSR, AIMRs. I don't know what it's called. Food. Who enjoys watching people food with their mouth chewing and their mouth opening up and down? If you watch these type of videos, I don't know how you do it, honestly. Props to you, because if I see a person sitting next to me and they're chewing with their mouth open, they are eating my hand. They are eating my hand for dessert. Now, I'm sure Nick or not a lot of people will be watching this video, but if Nick is watching, Nick, I want to tell you that you had the courage to go from the vegan YouTube lifestyler to this type of niche. So you do have the courage to change it up again. And I believe if you change your niche, your viewership and community are going to triple because it is going to be a motivational. It is going to be an inspiring thing for you to do. Change your life around, record your progress into the healthy life again, and you can make different type of content and people will respect you so much more than now. He also said in this video that he used to be a very well-respected violinist and you know he he was he got a scholarship to very nice universities. He missed the fact that people after his shows wanted signatures and autographs from him. He was well-respected and he said in his video that he misses that respect. Well, guess what, Nick? You can still make violin videos. You can still travel the world. You can make weight loss episodes on a YouTube channel and you are going to hire your viewership and people are going to respect you more and you'll end up making a living from YouTube and you'll be doing something that you love. You just got to push yourself to take that step. He can still get the respect if he changes. Honestly, if I see him start making progress videos, I'm going to respect him so much more than now. Now, this video was posted four months ago and I was really hoping when I opened this channel, I would see progress videos at least just switching things up a little bit. But unfortunately, it is the same thing over and over again. McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell. You won't believe how I'm still alive. Just doing his normal type of content. Even on his YouTube channel, Mr. Avocado 3, he's still posting Heart Attack Girls. Orlin came back eating 5,000 calories at once. Just the same old thing. Now, I hope it doesn't get to a point where he has to experience something very horrible until he decides to change his mind. I hope he, someone in his life at least, is there to support him and push him into the right direction of making a U-turn in a heart attack highway. But the whole situation has been sad for the past couple of years. I just wanted to talk about it and share this thing because I didn't know that he posted this video four months ago and now you do too. But I am curious to know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more yapping sessions. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.